Well, it's Pastor Rick, and I'm here with that long-awaited announcement that we're about to start worship, transitioning back to worship on campus. June 7th will be our first day here. And I know what some of you are thinking. Some of you are thinking, man, we should have done this sooner. Hey, thank you for trusting your leadership, being gracious with your leadership, as we tried to navigate some pretty interesting times, do the best we could. So we're ready to go back. Some of you are going to think this is too soon. And to you, I would say, you stay home, you worship online with us until you're absolutely comfortable returning to the building. When you do return, all of the auditorium doors will be open. We don't want you to have to touch anything that it's not necessary for you to touch. There will be no passing of offering plates. We'll not be handing out worship folders. We're going to ask you to come in to our normal set auditorium and practice your own social distancing. Please respect the boundaries of other people as we start transitioning back to worship. There will be people directing you into one entrance, the auditorium. The west entrance, the middle aisle entrance, we're doing this so that we can count. And when we reach our limits in our main auditorium, then we're going to move people to an overflow area so we can continue to practice social distancing. So we're excited to get you back. We understand there'll be a lot of people who may just be comfortable continuing to practice online. We're looking forward to seeing you. We're going to transition first two weeks, no child care, no preschool. Then we'll transition to children's programs on the 21st of June and child care be provided. And then by the 1st of July, all connect groups, all midweek service, our midweek activities, and all services, including Wednesday night service, will be back to our normal operation. That's our plan, not our promise. That's our plan, and we're excited about seeing you soon.